Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Categories Celebrity Biography. Lee Kuan Yew Biography by TheFamousPeople.com. Lee Kuan Yew was the first Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore. This biography profiles his childhood, life, and timeline. Lee Kuan Yew, the first Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore, is regarded as the founding father of modern Singapore. His dream of making Singapore a part of the Federation of Malaysia was shattered. Continuing as the Prime Minister of the New Republic, he was beset with numerous problems that mainly stemmed from the nation's limited natural resources. Though he adopted the policies of non-alignment and neutrality for Singapore, he did not take his country's independence for granted. Apart from strengthening its military might, he brought in conscription, he encouraged foreign investment, developed the necessary infrastructure, ensured racial harmony, and eliminated corruption. During his three decades as Prime Minister, Singapore achieved a per capita income next only to Japan's in East Asia, and emerged as a chief financial hub in the region. He is responsible for grooming the people of Singapore as the most disciplined and hard-working people in the world. Though widely admired, his autocratic methods invited criticism. He did not tolerate dissent from political opponents and the media. Childhood and Early Life Lee Kuan Yew was born on September 16, 1923. Lee Chin Kun and Ku Jim Neo. He has three brothers, Dennis Lee, Freddie Lee, and Lee Su Anu, and one sister, Monica Lee. The family was prosperous, and his father received an English education. He studied at the prestigious Raffles Institution, and stood first in Singapore and Malaysia in the senior Cambridge exams. Awarded an Anderson scholarship to Raffles College, he studied there between 1940 and 1942. When World War II ended, he went to study in England. He graduated with a rare double-starred law degree from Fitzwilliam College, affiliated to the University of Cambridge. Career Lee Kuan Yew returned to Singapore in 1949. He gained invaluable experience in politics as the election agent to the pro-British Progressive Party leader, John Laycock in whose law firm he was employed. Along with some English-educated middle-class men, he founded the People's Action Party PAP as a facade for the illegal Malayan Communist Party, and was supported by pro-communist trade unions. In the 1955 elections, he secured the Tanjong Pagar seat and became the opposition leader. He represented the PAP in two discussions over the future constitutional status of Singapore, in London. PAP swept the 1959 elections, gaining an absolute majority by winning 43 of the 51 Legislative Assembly seats. Singapore achieved self-government status, and Lee was sworn in as its first Prime Minister. He inherited numerous problems in the various sectors. In 1960, he established the Housing and Development Board HDB. The board undertook steps to provide affordable homes on war footing. He supported Malaya Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman's proposal to form of a federation consisting of Malaya, Singapore, Sabah, Sarawak, and Brunei. A referendum in 1962 validated the federation. Singapore declared complete independence from the British in 1963 to become part of the federation. But it was expelled two years later owing to widespread racial riots between Chinese and Malays. On August 9, 1965, the Republic of Singapore was born. As the Prime Minister of the tiny fledgling republic, the fundamental problem was in managing its limited natural resources. He ensured that Singapore was accepted to the United Nations in 1965, and to the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN. Two years later, he declared a policy of neutrality and non-alignment. He assigned the task of creating the Singapore Armed Forces to the then Deputy Prime Minister, Go Kang Sui, which he did with international assistance. In 1967, compulsory military service was introduced. English, Malay, Chinese, and Tamil were accorded official language statuses. The Speak Mandarin campaign was initiated in 1979 to promote Mandarin among Chinese-speaking people who spoke different Chinese dialects. To encourage the use of English language, he ordered the Chinese language Nanyang University be united to the English language University of Singapore to form the National University of Singapore. The Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau was strengthened by successive legislations and was given the power to make arrests investigate bank accounts and income tax related information of suspected individuals alarmed by the trend of singaporean men not accepting graduate women as life partners 
he established the Social Development Unit in 1983 to encourage the mingling of men and women graduates. In 1990, he resigned as Prime Minister in favor of Go Chok Tong, but continued to be influential as a senior minister in the cabinet in an advisory role. In 2004, Go Chok Tong resigned from prime ministership in favor of Lee's oldest son Lee Jian Lung. Lee Sr. was appointed minister mentor in the new cabinet, Major Works. In 1961, the Economic Development Board was established. It succeeded in industrializing Singapore by drawing foreign investment through tax incentive, providing highly skilled and cheap manpower, and modern transport systems and communication network. Between 1965 and 1985, Singapore's economy developed eightfold and its per capita income improved fourfold. The percentage of families living in poverty reduced to 0.3%. Homelessness and unemployment were completely stamped out. Awards and achievements Britain presented Lee with the Order of the Companions of Honor, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Street, Michael and Street, George and the freedom of the City of London. He received the Woodrow Wilson Award for Public Service from the Woodrow Wilson International Centre for Scholars. Personal Life and Legacy Lee married Kwa Gokshu in 1950, and has three children Jian Lung, the current PM, Drive, Wei Ling, heads the National Neuroscience Institute, and Jian Yang, presides over the telecommunication giant, Singtel. Lee Kuan Yew died of pneumonia on March 23, 2015, at the age of 91, he authored many books in his lifetime. These include, The Singapore Story, From Third World to First, The Singapore Story, The Wit and Wisdom of Lee Kuan Yew, and One Man's View of the World. Trivia This Asian leader is an avid reader, and likes to occasionally read Tom Clancy novels which are famous for espionage and military science stories. This Asian statesman declared, between being loved and being feared, I have always believed Machiavelli was right. If nobody is afraid of me, I'm meaningless.